This is the second chapter of this course, Moments of Multiple Random Variables. Section 2.1 Expected Value I hope you can remember how we calculate the expected value or the mean of a random variable x. If x is a discrete random variable, the expected value of x can be calculated by multiplying x times px and summing up over all x. Similarly, if x is continuous, we can find the expected value of x by integrating x times fx over all x. Similarly, if the expected value of a function of x, say gx, we can find it by summing up gx times px over all x if x is discrete and then integrating gx times fx if it is continuous. We can extend the same definition for bivariate case. Definition 2.1 for discrete random variables. Let gxy be a function of two discrete random variables x and y with their joint PMF pxy the expected value of gxy is defined as gxy times pxy summing over all x and all y. For the continuous case, we can replace the summation by integration. Hence, if x and y are continuous random variables with their joint PDF fxy, the expected value of gxy is the integration of gxy times fxy over all x and over all y. Let's look at an example. Suppose the joint PMF of x and y is given as the table. We can see that x can contain two possible values, 0 and 1, and y can contain three possible values, 0, 1, and 2. Let's find the expected value of gxy, where gxy is x times y. Here is the answer. We apply the definition that is x times y times the probability of the joint PMF. When we take the summation, x goes from 0 to 1 and y goes from 0 to 2. When x is 0 and y is 0, the corresponding probability is 1 over 4. So we multiply x is 0 times y is 0 times the probability 1 over 4. That is for the first cell. Then we add for the second cell. When x is 0 and y is 1, the probability is 1 over 4. Hence, 0 times 1 times 1 over 4 plus the third cell when x is 0 and y is 2 probability is 0. So we get 0 times 2 times 0. Likewise we add x times y times the probability for all 6 cells and then we add them together the answer will be 3 over 4. We can see that in the first four cells, since 0 is included in the multiplication, the values are all 0. But for cells 5 and 6, we end up with values 1 over 4 and 1 over 2. When we add them together, you get 3 over 4. In bivariate case, if we want to find the expected value of a function of only one variable, let's say gx, that becomes the univariate case. Then we can use the marginal density of x to find the egx. For the previous example, let's try to find the expected value of x. To start that, we first find the marginal PMF of x. 
you know how to do that now p at the probabilities for all y when x equals 0 so when x equals 0 the probability of x is 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 0 which is 1 over 2 when x is 1 we add all y values which is 0 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 the answer is 1 over 2 so here is the marginal pmf of x now we can find the expected value of x which is the summation of x goes from 0 to 1 x times px so that will be 0 times 1 over 4 plus 1 times 1 over 4 the answer is 1 over 2 let's look at another example this is for two continuous random variables x and y suppose the joint pdf of x and y is given as the following function we can see that x and y are depending on each other because their supports are depending on each other let's try to find the expected value of x and the expected value of x times y to find the expected value of x let us first find the marginal pdf of x to do that we have to integrate the joint pdf over all values of y the support of y is from x to y hence we integrate the joint pdf which is 6 times 1 minus y over y which goes from x to 1 if we do the integration we can end up with the given answer and then the support of x becomes from 0 to 1 now we can use the answer to calculate the expected value of x so we multiply the, the marginal pdf of x by x and integrate over the support of x which is from 0 to 1 if we do that we can find the answer as 1 over 4 now let us find the expected value of x times y to do that you can multiply x times y by the joint pdf of x and y and then integrate it from x from 0 to y and then y from 0 to 1 you have to be very careful about the limits of this integration let's go back to the function if you are integrating first from y then from x y should go from x to 1 and then x will go from 0 to 1 if you integrate x first and then y x will go from 0 to y and then y will go from 0 to 1 when we do the integration you will find the answer to be 3 over 20 as an exercise try to find the variance of x the expected value of y and variance of y and check whether you can get the following answers let's look at few properties of expectation suppose c is a constant then the expected value of that constant will be the same constant so e c equals c let g x y be a function of x and y and c be a constant then the expected value of c times g times x y becomes c times expected value of g x y which means 
you can always take the constant outside the expected value. If a and b are two constants, then the expected value of ax plus by is a times ex plus b times ey. You can find that easily by first distributing the expected value over ax and then by and then taking the constant outside the expectation. Let's look at example 2.1 again. We already have the marginal PMF of x. Similarly, you can find the marginal PMF of y. Can you find the expected value of 2x plus y? We can do that in two ways. Here is the first option. We can straight away find the expected value of 2x plus y using the joint PMF, which is multiplying 2x plus y by the joint PMF and taking the summation over both x and y. Second option is finding the expected value of 2x plus y using the third property. That means we distribute the expectation over 2x and then y, then taking the constants outside. So that will end up with 2 times ex plus ey. To do the second option, you have to have the values of the expected value of x and expected value of y. If we do the option 1, here is the calculation. When x is 0 and y is 0, 2x plus y becomes 2 times 0 plus 0 which is 0 plus 0 times its joint PMF which is 1 over 4 or the joint probability 1 over 4 plus the next cell when x is 0 and y is 1 that is 2 times 0 plus 1 which is 0 plus 1 times the corresponding probability 1 over 4. The third cell when x is 0 and y is 2 that is 2 times 0 plus 2 times the corresponding probability, which is 0. Likewise, you can find the probabilities for all 6 cells. And the answer will be 2. In the second option, first we have to find Ex and Ey. So using the marginal PMF of x, you can find x times px which is 1 over 2 and the expected value of y which is y times py over y from 0 to 2 which is 1. Then 2x plus y, its expected value will be 2 times ex which is 2 times 1 over 2 plus expected value of y which is 1. So the answer will be 2. So we can see that in either case you end up with the same answer.